In this problem, we are given a balanced chemical equation, and we're asked to identify the limiting reactant. Now, the way you can identify the limiting reactant is to find the moles per coefficient ratio for each of the reactants. Now, there is a formula for the moles per coefficient ratio, which looks like this. You'll want to use this version of the equation if you're dealing with moles, and you'll want to use this version of the equation if you're dealing with mass. Since I can clearly see that we're given moles in the problem, I'm going to use this version of the equation. Notice for C2H4, we are given two moles of this substance, and for the coefficient, one. Now notice for oxygen gas, we are given four moles, and the coefficient in front of O2 is three. So we have two over one and four over three, which as a decimal is going to be two and 1.33 repeating. And correlated to the two reactants, notice how the moles per coefficient ratio for oxygen is smaller than the ratio for ethylene. This means that oxygen gas is the limiting reactant.